Okay, today in this short video we'll be discussing how to configure HD Power Boost presets on NV series transmitters. A couple of side notes before we get started. The equipment affected or the equipment you need to have installed in your transmitter are digital exciters that leave the factory with part number NAE 104 forward slash 01 or NAE 105 forward slash 01. Um, they also need to have the power boost license enabled. Minimum software requirements for power boost are NV series software version 3.0 and higher. Um, it is recommended that uh, the user configuring the HD power boost preset be familiar with the transmitter's AUI and scheduling for adjusting your preset can be done at any time during your transmitter's normal operations. So with all that said, let's get started. Um, to begin, I have a default preset set up, which is to represent normal operation of your transmitter. Um, if you wish to increase your two sidebands, um, there are two different ways you can do it. For power boost presets, the name in the preset must begin with PB, and it's not case sensitive and it must be followed by one or two numbers that indicate the IBOC power injection ratio and the characters of DBC to follow. Again, it's not case sensitive and uh, it's fairly easy to adjust. Uh, there are also two ways of adjusting your sidebands. One is symmetrically at the same time. If you want to increase them from minus 20 to minus 10, uh, we do it with one number and if you want to change uh, both sidebands independently uh, you adjust it using two numbers so let's get started with the demonstration so here we are in our default preset I'm going to go into my presets menu notice that our IBOC injection level is minus 20 and it will remain at minus 20 no matter which preset we use or the injection levels that we dictate in the preset name. Okay, so we're going to go to save to create a new preset. And this one is going to be power boost minus 10 DBC, excuse me, DBC. And we're going to save this as a new preset. So we can always go back to our default in case we don't like uh, the changes we make. So I'm going to save it as new. Notice the preset has changed here in our configuration, but it hasn't changed on our active preset. So just to make sure, I'm going to check our sidebands are still both at minus 20. I'm going to go back into our preset menu. I'm going to load the preset that we just created. Power boost minus 10 injection level. We're going to load it. And we're going to save and activate. Notice the sidebands have jumped to minus 10 symmetrically on both sides. This can be accomplished for any injection level by only using one number. Now, to adjust the sidebands asymmetrically, I'm going to demonstrate the SPS1 HD side and the SPS HD2 side. So again, we're going to go to our presets menu. We're going to save a new preset, and we're going to call it Power Boost. We'll say for SPS1, we'll make this one minus 14 and for SPS2 we're going to make it minus 20 DBC Sorry. and we're also going to save this as new so we can go back and forth between our presets and just to make sure I always check my sidebands running smoothly at minus 10 now I'm going to go in and load the preset that we just created. 
power boost minus 14 and minus 20. We'll load, save and activate, and we'll watch our sidebands adjust. And there we go. So this concludes how we adjust our presets for power boost, symmetrical and asymmetrical sidebands for NV series transmitters. Uh, for further details, you can go to our FTP site and download the IS11002 information sheet that describes this in further detail.